Welcome to Chapter 3 of our gripping tale. The seafood festival was alive with the sounds of laughter and music, yet an ominous storm loomed overhead, casting a shadow over the vibrant stalls. Coral Fisher, our determined protagonist, stood at the edge of the docks, her heart pounding as she prepared to confront Jack Mercer, a rival fisherman. The salty breeze mingled with the scent of fried calamari, creating an atmosphere both festive and tense. As Coral approached Mercer, his stocky frame silhouetted against the festival lights, the tension in the air was palpable. You've been avoiding me, Jack, she stated, her voice steady despite the crackling tension. The scene was set for a confrontation that would unravel secrets and test loyalties. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this mystery, where every word and gesture could hold the key to the truth. The confrontation between Coral and Jack Mercer intensified as Coral brought up the torn net found at the scene, marked unmistakably with Jack's insignia. The festival's noise seemed to fade as the gravity of the accusation hung in the air. Before Jack could respond, Thomas Reed, a local politician, interjected, his tailored suit a stark contrast to the rustic backdrop. Coral, darling, you should be careful, he warned, his voice smooth yet threatening. Ignoring Reed, Coral pressed on, her determination unwavering. Jack, you were seen near the docks the night of the murder, she accused. Her voice cutting through the festivals din Jack's response was defensive, his voice rising above the noise, yet Coral noted a flicker of fear in his eyes. As the first raindrops began to fall, the urgency of the moment was undeniable. Coral knew she was onto something, and the truth was within reach hidden beneath layers of deception and fear. The tension within the community was as palpable as the storm brewing overhead. Coral Fisher stood firm, her determination unwavering as she faced Jack Mercer. The docks, illuminated by festival lights, became a stage for a confrontation that could unravel the very fabric of their community. You're hiding something, Coral insisted, her voice steady despite the rising fear in Jack's eyes. The urgency of the moment was underscored by the raindrops beginning to fall, each one a reminder of the storm both in the sky and within the hearts of those involved. Coral's instincts screamed that the truth was close, and she was determined to uncover it, no matter the cost. As the scene unfolded, it became clear that the festival was merely a backdrop to a deeper, more dangerous game. Stay with us as we continue to explore the depths of this mystery where every clue brings us closer to the truth. Thank you for joining us on this journey through chapter three of our story. The Seafood Festival, with its vibrant backdrop, served as the perfect setting for a confrontation that revealed the cracks in the community's facade. As the storm loomed overhead, Coral Fisher's determination to uncover the truth was unwavering. The docks, a place of both work and secrets, became the stage for a drama that would test loyalties and reveal hidden fears. With each raindrop that fell, the urgency of the situation grew, and Coral's instincts told her that the truth was within reach. Join us next time as we delve deeper into this mystery, where every clue and every confrontation brings us closer to uncovering the secrets hidden beneath the waves. Don't forget to follow Storyteller for more thrilling chapters and to see how this tale unfolds.